What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. So here we are playing more tourist bus simulator and yeah guys the first time around we did get started with our business. We did buy our first bus and it was a pretty huge one to be fair for the first one if you saw that episode. If you didn't please do go and check please do go and check it out. It was a lot of fun driving that one back to this uh, small base. As you can see guys we're back in our office and there's not much going on here. There's our big bus. It's massive, that thing, for a first one. But we'll see how we get on in this episode where we're going to do our first uh, first actual tour, I, th I believe. Although I haven't actually done anything further since last time. And we're going to take our first order here. I've not done this before, so this is new ground for me. Um, but it should be a lot of fun anyway. So it says click on the button to see the available orders. Cl then click on an order to confirm it. You can find your accepted orders by clicking on this button. Okay, so, all right, so current orders, none, new orders, looks like there's one available there, completed orders, or failed orders, okay, one, um, so there's 500 euros available for this one, it's just a, tr a short trip, 10 minutes by the looks of it, so that sounds ideal for our first one, doesn't it, and we're going to be doing a run to the airport by the looks of it, we we'll press A here, and that then goes into our current orders. Um, is that it? Uh, maybe that's all we need to do. Okay, the first trip, open the calendar again, and skip time to the next appointment. So let's go to our calendar, and it's going to be, by the looks of things, tomorrow on the 8th. Okay, let's see then. Let's see what's going on. I, I was just wondering if that calendar, I wonder if that calendar's a... Uh, correct it is actually so when we're recording this video we're recording it on monday the 30th of may man so it's actual this is like next week in real time which is quite funny really i wonder what i wonder when this video will get published probably towards the end of this week i would imagine okay so let's jump on the bus get this thing open we'll jump in our seat and uh, hold down air first thing. Ignition. Um, put some basic lights on. Um, we'll open our window. So you can hear the engine a bit better. Do like that. We will then close the door. Getting better with these controls. Getting better with these controls. I don't know whether you saw the last video, but I'd recommend checking that out if you haven't. We'll engage drive. We will switch off the parking brake and we will accelerate to get moving forward. And as you can see guys, it's a beautiful day again. And so it should be when you're on holiday. Eh? For all of these people that are going on holiday, I really hope they're having a wonderful time. Oh man. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Let's take account of the narrow streets, eh? Because we're certainly not doing that. Alright, that's our pickup spot over there. That's where we're going to be picking up from. So we're going to go around here. I hope they didn't see us crash there. Because they might be reluctant to get on board now. Okay, we'll take it nice and easy going around this corner. There we go. And these look lovely little ha um, like apartments, don't they? Nice little place to stay. They do say that this game is modelled on the real, realistic sort of um, actual island of Fort Aventura. Um, I would love to check it out for myself playing this game. It's made me, making me want to go on holiday. I don't know whether that was the desired um, effect, but it certainly is. Okay, let's pull in here. Let the passengers board and start your trip. The de destination board needs to be active. Well, I don't know what that means. Right, there's that done. We'll let the passengers board by opening the doors. Um, what's all this stuff? Is there a side... Is there a side thing? Luggage hatch is right. Okay, well I guess that's open now. What is the destination board? Is that this? Destination display. We've done it. 
and tilting as well. Oh no, announcement? Well, that kind of doesn't work. Navigation monitor on. Reading lights. Okay, passenger compartment lights. We'll switch those on and reading lights, I guess. Welcome aboard. I guess I should have said that before the first passenger came on. I didn't see who our first customer was. Are we all on? I was kind of expecting that to be open there. Well, the luggage compartment isn't open, actually. Which is kind of strange, in my p opinion. Has everybody gone upstairs? Well, it looks like we've got quite a few people on today. Hope you're all well. Everybody's enjoying the holiday, by the looks of things. A couple of folks at the front. You should be letting the kids sit up here. Let them have the view. Well, I guess there doesn't appear to be any children on board anyway. Not to worry. Two very similar character models, but not the same. They must be sisters. And I guess this is our, our little kitchen area, isn't it? And our toilet. Um, okay, let's get in. And what we will do first, I think, just before we do anything else, is just see what there is here. Our retarder might be useful just for keeping our speed under control a little bit. Let's switch that on, see if that helps us. Um, we'll close the doors. We'll make the drinks available and Wi-Fi and the toilet available. Um, passenger monitors. I guess we can switch those on. Oh, this is kind of locking the luggage hatches. Well, we'll lock those now. You know what? I don't want to waste too much time here, but I do want to see if those luggage hatches actually open or not. So we'll unlock that side. Let's have a quick lock. Well, that's just the door. Um, I don't think the luggage hatches actually work, do they? Well, you can press on it with A, but it doesn't seem to open. Um, okay. Well, we've opened the wrong side, which is interesting. We Sorry, we unlocked the wrong side, should I say, because we can now open the other side um, that's a little bit interesting because ok so that bus on that picture must be from the front when it says luggage hatch is right I guess it must be looking from the front of the bus Cause if, so if we unlock that one and jump out this one then opens we can then open that one with no problem. Okay, well, I guess there's no luggage. Um, well, it doesn't seem to be anyway. Nobody was asking for it, were they? So, I'll assume that we're alright. Right, let's get going. I don't want these guys to miss their plane. All this chit-chatter. Right, we'll close that. And we will lock this like that. Next thing, we will release our parking brake. We will indicate. Let's get a move on. You can see in the mirror there's nothing coming, so I don't need to look around. Get ourselves to the airport with these folks. It's supposed to be a 10 minute trip. I think we have already spent about five minutes there. Messing around with doors and whatnot, but it was worth a look. I mean, I don't know guys, I don't know about you, but I find that quite exciting to be able to see the different options available there. And I don't know whether the bus that we've got is kind of good medium or high end or not it certainly appears to be high end I mean we certainly spent a lot of money to get it but that was what we had I mean when I say a lot of money that's kind of what we had at the time out of what we had we spent a lot of it um, I don't know if we'll be able to upgrade it I don't know if there's better buses available than this one right, it looks like we're already at the airport so that's good stay in our lane a little bit we'll be gentle on the brakes as we're coming down here because it's quite 
the, the brakes are certainly bitey, that's for sure. Well, there's a bus lane here, so we can go into this one, I'm sure. There we go. Be nice and gentle on the controls here. Where's our stop in space? Well, it's directing us to keep going down here for the time being, so I guess we're not parking. We're not parking there anyway. Oh, we're breaking the speed limit by the looks of things. I wonder if you can change the speed to um, miles per hour. i tell you one thing that I noticed that you can do. Um, if you go back into this menu with Y, you can switch on the speed across the top of the screen and the time. I know it's only tiny, but it's better than down in the bottom right, because it's very difficult to see down there. Okay, let's keep it moving anyway. So we can see we've got a speed limit of 30 kilometers, so we're actually breaking that already now. The retarder didn't seem to do anything, did it? I mean, it doesn't restrict our speed. I wonder whether you can set it up to sort of keep you within a certain sp speed limit. Um, okay. Well, it's taken us round here. I guess we should be in the bus lane still. Hold on a second. I don't know what it's doing here. I thought we were going to the airport, but we're actually coming out of the airport for some unknown reason. Bus station. Well, I guess that's where we're going then. We're going to the bus station. I thought we were going to drop off right outside the airport. I guess not. So let's get ourselves to the bus station then, guys. And we'll pull in here like this. Let's keep it moving. 50k speed limit here again. Okay, it looks like our stop's here anyway, so this makes sense, I guess. We're not dropping off right outside the airport, we are dropping off at the bus station at the airport. Okay, that's a decent stop. We're rolling forward. We've rolled quite a bit forward. How do we open the doors? I'm in the wrong place again. There we go. And that door. How do? Somebody had a ticket or a passport or something in the hand there. It would have been interesting to see. Not too sure where everybody's going. Oh, I think that's their phone in their hand, actually. Everybody's got an iPhone by the looks of things. I'm not too sure what's going on now. I'm very confused because I thought we were just going to the airport, but... Um... We... Were we supposed to drop off at the airport? I'm... Kind of worried, to be honest with you. And we're now stuck. We were stuck on the curb there. He wouldn't let us climb back up. Okay, let's just get the door closed. There we go. Um, so we've engaged reverse. Parking brake needs to be off. We'll be using our camera at the bottom there just to reverse. There we go, brake on. You've got to remember to hold down the brake um, while changing gear because like we found out there, it just rolls forward otherwise. Which is rather interesting. It's a little bit of skill involved. It does have a realism factor to it. I mean, I guess that's it, isn't it? Right, I don't know what we're doing now. Where are we going, guys? Maybe the, these guys know where we're going, because I certainly don't. Well, the instruction there, the first trip, follow the route shown in navigation. Well, we have. And now I really don't know where we're going now, because I thought it was just uh, from the pickup spot to the airport. I wonder whether I should be thinking more about our route or whether I'm just supposed to follow it because it's I'm kind of approaching it in a sort of almost brainless way 
the same way that I would with um, Bus Simulator. Because now we seem to be heading back to the hotel without an actual drop off. And if I miss the drop off, then I'll be very disappointed. I'll be very disappointed with myself because I didn't see one outside the airport apart from the, uh, the, the stop that we made that. Oh, had a bit of an accident there by the looks of things. So maybe they got out when we stopped at that one particular stop in the bus station and I didn't see them get off. Maybe they used the second door to get off. I don't know. But we seem to be heading back to the hotel now. In the apartments area, so... I guess that's what we're doing. I guess it'll become more clearer as we go on. I don't really want this to be a failed job for the first one, that's for sure. And we certainly need to get used to driving. I seem to be a little bit... Whoa, dude, what? Okay, all stops have been approached. No passengers have been left behind. Service rating 44%, crashes 3, radar traps none. Well, neutral, parking brake on. Doors open, doors open. So do they all get off the back? Oh yeah, they do. Okay. Oh, you fell into the floor. A few people sort of floating in midair slash falling into the floor which is interesting I feel like when we made that stop then at the airport when we stopped at the bus station people must have got off then but I am still not exactly 100% uh, happy to be fair maybe next time we can pay a little bit more attention to what they're doing once they get off they just sort of disappear into thin air oh man Rather amusing, rather amusing. Right, let's return to our company. Oh, first things first. Let's get the doors closed. There we go. I'm really, really happy that we're playing on... Whoa, we nearly hit that truck there. But thankfully they were understanding. I'm really happy that we're playing on the, the more complex controls to be honest with you because it is actually quite fun and very uh, it's quite fulfilling once you get the grip of it okay let's just go there was nothing coming anywhere thankfully okay let's just park straight this time We'll reverse out next time, eh? Right, brake on. Neutral. Parking brake. Engine off. And... Okay, everything else is switched off. Yeah, locked, locked. Lights are off as well. I guess they switch off when the... Um, when you switch the engine off, although I would like to see actually if we start it back up again. So I'll, these lights come on. We'll close that window. There's our sun visor. <laughs> Rather noisy. Retard is off don't know what use this is right now if it makes any difference I guess a bit of um, air conditioning doesn't harm especially if with the hot temperature outside just have a quick look to see if these things are on so the kitchen is on Wi-Fi is on so those things are now switched on as a result of us um, we switch that destination board off we switch all these off manually I guess
Oh, that's the toilet you can hear. Okay, there we go. So, we'll open this front door to let ourselves out. We'll switch the engine back off again like that. Let's jump out. Close this door. And there we go, guys. We're all parked up. Nicely parked in here. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Next time, by the looks of things, we're going to be getting our first employee. I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing, whether they're going to be driving for us or helping us in the office or doing something else on the bus, like serving customers or whatever. Not entirely too sure, but we will find out. That's for sure. I'm looking forward to it. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do leave me the thumbs up if you did. If you enjoyed this episode, please do let me know in the comments. If you're enjoying this, if you're playing this game, let me know if you're playing it as, along as well. That would be fantastic. I'm sure if you are playing it, you're probably a lot further than me, but do let me know anyway, guys. I just want to say thanks so much for coming through, and I'll catch you guys again soon.